Uh oh. I've been sneaking around. And like all of a sudden, like more viewers showed up. Gosh, what is going on? CSJ's like going live again? No. <laughs> no, he's not. Wait a minute, he is actually. Because like, who wouldn't just like drink like multiple shots of like caffeine just randomly and whatnot, right? But uh, yeah, it's like, I think I want to do something like a little bit different just because I just got like major really triggered, right? So how did I get triggered? Well, I got triggered because, and I wonder if there's like actually any volume coming in here. Yes, it is actually dope, but I did get triggered. I got triggered because I was like looking at my 700 plus freaking YouTube comments and it's like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should just like go through each of the comments myself. So that's what we're going to do, folks. We're going to go through all the comments as long as I can like figure out how to fix my YouTube uh, chat widget again here. So stand by as I like figure that out. Oh, hold on. Gosh, I love Face ID. It makes things so much easier. Enter your new code. I will enter my code. And let's just not have like any uh, not excuse uh, for, um, let's see here. YouTube, 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 and let's see it. Oh my gosh, that is an insanely huge text string. Uh, and, uh, okay, that's right, folks. What am I going to do? I am going to torture everybody with this particular stream by actually going through all of my comments with you and giving you my reaction to all the comments live because why not i read some zingers in there and i'm like you know what i'm just gonna share my uh reaction with like literally everyone and see how that goes please be right oh thank god that password is correct and let's get back in two-factor authentication awesome and awesome and got that in and got that in and ready yeah awesome all right caffeine and triggering comments right yeah Shh. haven't exactly told anyone that like i'm live like i didn't even like ping the discord server should i should i ping the discord server and like let people know i'm sure word would get out eventually you know what i'm saying so all right let's get this show on the road folks in response to how do intjs compare to infjs we have lisa and what did she say one thing that C.S. Joseph mentioned that is super helpful to me, you're so welcome, INFJ, as RTI child will eliminate us from making friends in other video and social instead. And if someone's drinking beer with CBD oil, Papa, you're here in Wisconsin. I would be tempted to say the person that might be fake oil, charging real seat instead of getting stuck with something like this. Uh, cheers and toast mugs. I believe this is C.S. Joseph when he said, I almost need a TI child support group because it does alienate us if we use it too much. Thank you, C.F. Joseph. You are so very welcome, Lisa. Lolcat says, make a video called Ego Hacking in Depth Guide or Ego Hacking Reading List. That is in process, good sir. Unless you are a woman, then you would obviously not uh, be a sir, uh, etc. So, uh, I did do it before, Heather Bryant. Yes, I did. Uh, but thank you, Heather Bryant, for being with me like for so very long. It's like awesome. Make a video in depth tutorial and ego hacking. Okay, yeah, I already saw that comment. Oh, I'm gonna delete a comment. No, oh, we're gonna do it again. Yes, I love you forever too. Don't worry, but I had to delete your comment because it was like very redundant and whatnot. All right, so this guy, like Stellar Memer, he's like one of my favorite people that like comments like always. You know why? Because he plays this game. I played this game called like Eve Online for like the longest time. My character was like Lazuli Loto and I was in Northern Coalition, but I also used to be like in Goon Swarm as well. It's like some super shadowy like spy person and I did it for like the longest time. No, seriously, like I was like one of the best spy masters in the history of EVE Online um, and I like I ran like 70 agents 24 hours a day across the globe playing this MMORPG called EVE Online and uh, it was fun I even like we even had like this like little social media wiretapping system where we were like grabbing all the chats from like IRC and Jabber and Discord and Slack and Mattermost in real time 24 hours a day like extracting all these chats so anytime people would ping fleets and whatnot that'd be great Anyway, that's not even relevant to this discussion. However, Stellar Memer, this guy right here, 
he's got like an eve online character uh profile and whatnot so like but yeah i mean i'll just show you guys like right now like i love this game loved this game i used to play it and i don't really anymore but like here's like my character in the game Oh, I even got kicked out of Syndicate Enterprise. Like, that's how much of a loser I am, apparently. But uh, there used to be, like, a lot of hatred here when he had discuss uh, on this uh, website. Like, people, like, hating on me for, like, being a total douchebag. It was great. See, that's what, when I play video games, I do it specifically to, like, wreck other people. Just let my SE demon just run free and whatnot. It's, like, awesome. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, yeah. Jab did not know about this. <laughs> LOL. Sorry. Uh... All right, but do ESTPs get laid in EVE Online? Actually, technically, yes, because it happened at one point in time, but there's like a really interesting, horrible story to that, and I am not going to like talk about that on this. All right, so Stellar Memer, uh, ENTP with high INTJ shadow development, MBTI community, is this ENTJ? PS, is SE Demon Rage a thing in ENTPs? Yes, it can be a, a thing uh, on occasion. When I was younger, I got to the point where I threw some pretty big tantrums and raged pretty hard. Yes, I've raged pretty hard, and it did lead to physical violence, uh, Stellar Memer, so be careful. So yes, I raged uh, really hard when I was super young, and I became uh, physically... Um, violent and in fact let me let me let me give you folks an example uh, a little anecdotal uh thing here uh to to like kind of like answer stellar memers uh a question um so uh, yes i am reacting to my backlog of comments lied uh so yes um let's actually talk about that so i used to be like the fat kid in school like seriously like majorly and when that happened uh there's this one guy, I think it was named by Chris Stewart, and he, like, he, he was an ESTP, and he, like, beat, he, like, seriously beat me. Like, it was kind of like a normal thing. I remember one time, like, he, uh, he punched me right in the stomach, and I was, like, the wind was knocked out of me. I was, like, uh, I was on the ground after that, and uh, looking like an idiot, by the way, because we were, like, lining up to go up from recess to go back to class. I was, like, in, I was in fifth grade and whatnot. And he hit me like really, really hard. Also, he's like one of the tallest kids. He's also a super fast runner, um, very athletic kind of person, uh, definitely an ESTP. Uh, but uh, not that I knew it in those days because I didn't. Uh, but uh, it, anyway, what happened was is that like I, him and I would just get into it all the time. It's like TI parent on TI parent, you know, and uh, he. Uh, he'd beat me basically and it, it would really trigger me because like my parents they teach me like when i was young they'd be like um you know i i wish i followed my uncle's philosophy when it came to bullies at school but my parents philosophy was run away and get an adult like that was their philosophy right so like yeah i had the reputation of being the fat kid that would run away and get an adult because that's what i was taught i wish i had uh, been taught by my uncle who basically said you know uh, never throw the first punch. Uh, my uncle's an INFJ. Love that guy. Never throw the first punch, and if you end up throwing a punch, make sure you finish it. That was his uh, philosophy. But anyway, I got so tired. My SI inferior got so tired of basically being beat up by this kid over and over and over again. I got so tired of it that I finally became like very vengeful. And and then it got so bad, like because my ISFJ subconscious was like very justice oriented, right? Not and whatnot. And then at that point, uh, uh, basically, um, uh, what do you call a YouTuber in a super ego demonetized? LOL. Nice, stellar memer. We're like literally talking about your question right now. Anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, punch him in the face. That, that's right, Mike Hart, definitely. Yeah, so you did. Amen, brother, amen. Um, so, anyway, what I did was, is I, I already had memorized the bully's pattern with my introverted sensing. I knew exactly what he was going to do before he was going to do it, because he followed the same pattern. He's just super predictable, because NI inferior is insanely predictable, right? So, I went to lunch, and then uh, just before we went out to like recess for lunch, um, you know, uh, I went out these two double doors, which was basically out of the gymnasium where we were eating lunch, where all the kids eat lunch was in the uh, gymnasium. And, you know, and I was in fifth grade at the time. And I got up on top of this picnic table that was outside these double doors, but you couldn't see the picnic table from when the double doors would open because you'd be behind it. And I always knew he'd come out the left side of the door because on the other, uh, because inside the building still there was the all sport uh, vending machine, and he would always buy himself a blue ice before going out to the playground every single time. So what I did because I was like so vengeful at this point because of him like beating me over and over this bully, and I, I became so vengeful. I, I just literally let my um, I was like I was pissed. Uh, so I got on top of this. Um, 
I literally stood on top of this uh, picnic table um, from that was completely out of view because it's like right on the edge of the door. So you have the two double doors, right? So like he so like say you have two double doors right here, and then like right here would be the table right behind the door. So he he'd come out, I'd be right here standing on top of the door, and he came out. He came out. And as soon as he did, I literally jumped on top of him, put my arms around him, had him in headlock, brought him to the ground, tackled him basically, and I held him like this uh, with his head right there, and he was freaked out, and he was basically like crushed and i was holding him up like this as well so i kind of like bending him upwards like this uh and i was on on top of him and i was pulling him up like this like with his neck and whatnot and i remember whispering into his ear and i said if you ever touch me again i'm going to kill you i, I literally like told him that like whispered in his ear <laughs> and this this happened like in front of like a whole bunch of other kids too coming out of the lunchroom and it, it was it was interesting because uh no one ever messed with me again and I said it to them, you know, if you ever do this to me again, if you ever touch me again, I said it to them in that, you know, that, that very nice Essie Demon voice, you know, kind of like I was enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? You know, because sometimes I just want to see the world burn. Just like, you know, Alfred says in that uh, film, A Dark Knight, you know, talking about the Joker, you know what I'm saying? I totally went Joker mode on him. Here's the here's the moral of the story, folks. Like, he, he didn't like, like, he... Uh, uh, he never messed with me again, like never again. In fact, actually, none of the kids ever messed with me again after making that statement, basically. So, yes, SC Demon uh, Stellar Mirror definitely uh, does come out, and it did lead to a ragey tantrum that kind of leads to physical violence. It is a thing that can happen within ENTPs, uh, so that's kind of like where it can uh, happen. So, um, is it difficult for someone to be a fluid storyteller? Does that mean they have SI in their unconscious? I mean, are we like, uh, I mean, no, not necessarily. Um, and yes, the Joker is an ENTP. Um, all right, so Hebe says, well, I'm glad I got Tywin right without thinking too much. I enjoyed these episodes immensely. You're welcome, bro. Uh, I have to call you on the hound being an ISTP chase. Uh, no, no, he's not an INTJ. Like, if he's an INTJ, he'd, like, have a lot more plots, and he'd be way more grandiose. The guy is super mega concrete, Hebe. There's no way in hell the uh, the, uh, the Hound is an INTJ. I still have to disagree uh, with you on that point. Uh, Braun is definitely someone who is concerned with his self-importance, so he's definitely an FITE user, hands down, um, as to... Whether or not he's an INTJ, that could be. We'll find out possibly in the next episode. So I'm definitely going to be like, yo, uh, we will find out for sure. Um, but yeah. Also, like, if you guys didn't know this, like, I always, like, little put little hearts and, like, I always, like, plus one on the um, on the comments that I look at because I do this because I want the audience to know that, like, I actually read everything because I do. Like, and, uh, um, oh, Mike Hart, yeah. Your fiance and I are breaking up. Yeah, I mean it happens. I mean I like I I technically um uh, was engaged um last year and and I and I broke up too. I did that. It wasn't necessarily because of incompatibility from a nature standpoint, but it was more from a from a nurtural standpoint. So I totally get it. I mean it happens, you know what I'm saying? Um Awesome, Carolina. Uh, you're very welcome. I'm glad you and your boyfriend are getting along together. Um, I'm glad you understand him more. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, everyone's always trying to ask me to like type Batman, and Batman's type like constantly is just like, okay, so what type is he? I mean, sometimes people write him super IS ISFJ. Sometimes people write him INFJ. Believe it or not, uh, some people write him INTJ. Oftentimes. Um, but because of just uh, his calling of transitions between him being Batman and Bruce Wayne, it's an extremely difficult fictional character to type. So then you have to choose like, so basically it's like, okay, Hey, you need to type Batman. And I'm like, okay, well, which Batman, like which one Adam West, are we going to do that one? Because it's like completely different. You know what I'm saying? Sounds a bit like deifying young TBH. Actually, I do not deify young Xander Kuru. I do not deify young. In fact, a lot of people do not know that Jung took advantage of his patients consistently. Um, and when I say take advantage, I was told at one point in time that he did it in a very uh, sexual manner. Uh, he, like he slept with his patients, apparently. 
Hey guys, I think Chase likes INJs. Absolutely, I do. Sign me up for INJ friends. I love them. Uh, so of course, uh, Peter Wiggett, who's like actually here with us this evening. So shout out to you, Peter, uh, for being a member of our community. We love you very much. All right, Jamillion J. Interesting in response to how do ESFJs compare to like some type. Um, hmm. People, person, jokester, okay. Don't overpost on social media. Likes to do list, a planner, loyal, happiness. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna like that and move on. I like how he says deep on the side. How it says deep on the side. I don't know what he's referring to, but fair enough. Uh, see, Xander Kuro, funnily enough, has been like crazy in uh, like, uh, I don't know, posting a lot. Um, uh, ESTP here, I broke up with my ENTP girlfriend because I couldn't stop bullying her. Okay, thanks, Logan, I guess. <laughs> uh, Jay Patel, maybe different kinds of storytelling. Uh, Young summoned demons, and that's how I got his theories. That's pretty interesting, Mike Hart. Actually, um, speaking of that, um, I've been reading this book. I've actually been reading a lot of these books recently. Uh, this book, uh, Anthony William, like the medical medium, um... So it's uh, it's kind of interesting, and like apparently this guy like talks to a spirit to get like health advice. So um, I mean I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out, but uh, I read all those books. But uh, and, and other really cool um, books to read. Uh, read the four the four agreements. Like if you haven't already, um, just saying. Wow, this guy like posts so much uh time for the wuxia references uh history starting to sing your brother i have no idea what that even means i don't know what rahu flames is so i know work in a similar way the heroes posing functions the nemesis i mean sure that's fine i don't know the context of this uh so i do not know the context of what you are saying good sir yes uh, all right, so uh, Fakayu uh, says, uh, if I was ever to study to be a therapist, should I hide the fact that I know this young stuff? Um, probably, um, because if you don't, uh, they will throw you into the dumpster. Kind of like that time I punked a, a psychology uh, professor who like gave, uh, who was giving a, a lecture at one point in time. He got really pissed. I was escorted out of the building because he was talking to everybody about how great Freud was. And I was like, no, this is like not good. ENTP, uh, the belligerent uh, sweetheart. Edit. Now that I finished watching this, I just want to say I'm so sorry that society is naturally inclined to dislike ENTPs. Ugh, tell me about it. Thank you. Thank you so much for feeling my pain. I really appreciate it because it sucks. It does. But at the same time, I mean, kind of we're like cool like that too. So it's cool, I guess. My brother is, I believe, an ENTP. And this video really helped me make sense of him. Awesome. I've always loved and admired my brother, but we definitely had some differences at some point. And now I feel like I could use this information to be a better sister to him. Awesome. And I'm super stoked about that. So I just want to put it out there. I am pro ENTP. Thank you so much. I too, comma, am pro ENTP. Yes. Okay, so Ahmed SH says, is there a way to make myself comfortable in an uncomfortable situation as an INFP? Yes, uh, buy a plane ticket, go to an, uh, a nation where you can't speak their language and try to survive there for six months. That's exactly what you do. Um, just, and he tries to debunk the MBTI and typology, saying it is satanic. Uh, Mike Hart, is that guy like EJ R&D? Like EJ R&D used to be like one of those MBTI typologist folks here on YouTube and whatnot. And like when that when he was like doing his stuff, um, gosh, EJ R&D, like, didn't he like convert to Christianity? He's telling everyone for like the longest time he's an ESTP, right? But he's actually an INFJ, EJ R&D, right? And then all of a sudden, like, uh, he, he even posts this video where he's like, I think, I think I'm turning into an INFJ. Like, he literally did that. And then, like, after that, shortly after then, he disappears. He disappears completely, EJ R&D. Um, and apparently he converted to Christianity, saying that typology is satanic. Great. Although recently, speaking of satanic things, um, Maddie Bojangles, Maddie Bojangles, uh, who's a 
very nice contributor here at CSJ. Love the guy. Uh, he, he's, he, he made this huge argument with me at the, uh, or some very good points with me at, at the meetup group and basically laid out as to why he maintains that, you know, Lucifer is actually an ENTP, which I found very, very interesting. So just throwing that out there. Yeah, not, uh, not, not, not exactly, I mean, a good thing, right? So, oh, Xander Kuro again, because Xander Kuro posts more than anyone else on my uh, comments for some reason. No way, that's not Carl Jung said, nor did Pythagoras, Tales, Newton, Levins talk about set theory, but somehow it's used in maths. I don't know why there's such a thing as like new thoughts and ideas. Nope, that's how the question blasts me. Wow, this guy's like really informative. Uh, sometimes I think of Quran as mentally it's unstable. Oh, the cookie was great. No, I don't think so. I think I should filter my comments a bit more. What do you think, Chase? Should I leave them and only critique in a bit of edginess? Uh, and to which I respond, good sir, never not be edgy. You know, I only have 700 more comments to go. So like just... Uh, Throwing that out there. Um, sounds like the, that guy needs some unconscious INF Jesus in his life. Dope, BKTV, but dope. That, that's actually like, sounds like the thought process of a schizo. Okay, fair enough, Heather. Um, Asil, Asil Abu Dakar. No, uh, uh, Abu Kadir, uh, Abu Kado. Uh, hello, I don't know. Um, yeah, I have no idea uh, how to say your name is it a common thing for INTJs to be afraid of commitment it was more of an INTP thing uh more of an INTP thing here's the thing about INTJs folks if they're actually like interested in you you could take that interest as a part of commitment they just need to see that you're loyal and if you're loyal to them they will be committed like I don't understand why people think NJs are like have like this bad uh rap for cheating because I'm sorry NJs uh out of all of the types cheat the least yeah, that's a fact. Understand that, folks. NJs cheat the least, and they usually cheat for two reasons. They cheat because the person they're with is disloyal to them, so they mirroring the disloyal behavior because for some reason NJs walk around thinking, oh, well, your really bad behavior gives me license. Like, definitely gives me license to behave badly too. So because you're behaving poorly, I get to behave poorly now. So that's reason number one. Reason number two um, is like uh, NPs probably cheat the most. Uh, they can. Uh, they can. Um, now, although actually I have to disagree with that, like SPs do. SPs definitely uh, cheat the most uh, for sure. So just, uh, just uh, be aware of that. Um, SPs do for sure. Um, ha 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 ha. Okay. Uh, sounds a bit as this the nemesis trying to get cursed by demon. Okay. Thanks for the content. Love you too, Zanakuro. The dope is strong with this one. Master, what happened? A disturbance of the dope, I see. Worry, we must be for the dopest season. Over dope us may. Get ready for more. Hashtag the dopest. Yeah, that was pretty dope. Captain Knuckles. When he slaps Joffrey, can you imagine ENTP using physical force? To someone, something like that? I can't. He might be ENTP, but that's uncharacteristic for the type. Actually, it's not, uh, because ISFJ subconscious can use physical force uh, all the time. I used to discipline my children in a physical way. I used to spank them. I no longer find the need to spank my children. The reason why is because spanking an INFJ child is basically a waste of time. It's like, it's a complete waste of time. Like, why bother? Like, seriously, why bother doing that? Um, and the other, and my, and my daughter's an ENFP, and it's very rare that I would spank her, although I have spanked her a total of three times. Um, and uh, she never forgets them, and she never does it again, so I never really actually have to spank her, really. Now, if you're, like, raising an INFJ son or an INFJ in general, spanking them is literally a waste of time. Like, don't even bother. Like, they don't care. It's like SID even. Meh. Who cares? What you do is you take away their choices. Yeah. Or you give them no choice. Take away their freedom. Yeah, that's more effective for, like, an INFJ child. So um, that's kind of, like, where it goes. Um by the way, can I get an unbanned for the Discord for my birthday because I'll be 18? Uh, yes, BKTV, provided you have not actually uh, broken any rules, you'll have to contact one of the mods for that. Um, uh, yeah, it's just because put at the edge of the official character depends on consistency of the writer. Um, uh, it is not uncharacteristic if justice is involved for ISFJ's subconscious bro. 
I literally like had to add the bro in there for effect. You guys know that. All right, so we got Jennifer Burright. I'm an INTJ, new to your videos. I found this fascinating. I appreciate a window into my personal potential weaknesses. I'm still cherry picking through your videos because what INTJ doesn't cherry pick through all the things. Uh, but I intend to branch out to get a better sense of the big picture. I subscribe today. So far, I appreciate the insights and blunt honesty. Awesome. Thank you for being here. Awesome. All right, now we got Heba Gadala. As an INFJ with my direct list, I have this, you can't tell me what to do, but suggestions and information are welcome. It's because you're an INFJ and you like want that TE input because you need a TE user in your life because if you don't have a TE user, because you have TE trickster as an INFJ, you are at risk of believing like literally anything. So that's like technically true. So like watch out for that. Like INFJs have this problem where they can just believe anything. And uh, that's why TE users exist because TE users are like, cite your sources. Like, why do you believe that? Cite your source. Cite your source, please. Why do you believe that? Right? So, um, yeah, bro for effect. What's up, Aaron Rule? Glad to have you here. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Uh, what would help an INFP as a comic? Um, I don't know. Pretend to be Ron White. I, it's probably what I'd say. And, uh, hey, Chloe. No, no, no. Don't, don't do that. Chloe? No. Oh, no. Uh, hold on. I got a pen. No. <laughs> The cat was like literally scratching the wall there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I think Chloe like one day would actually like be comfortable to like sit on my lap during the stream, and then you get to like watch me like pet my cat. You know, like uh, like on Stavro uh, Blofeld from uh, 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 James Bond. You know what I'm saying? I could be like sitting here with my cat, being all edgy, edgy AF with my cat. You know what I'm saying? That, <laughs> like, why not? Um, Okay, uh, got it. Oh, I sure hope the uh, YouTube comments thing didn't break again. Uh, if it does, if it does break, if you guys like notice it breaks, just message me uh, on my Frankie Overwood account on Discord so that like I fix it because it triggers me if it's not working. Uh, as an Aya and voila, it's fault. I'm an Aries. She's a Libra. I write this to tell you. Um, yes, you are very welcome. I am an Aquarius. Uh, I am not sure that is relevant uh, to what you are saying, but fair enough. Um, so yeah, Dr. Evil Joseph. Yes, never not Dr. Evil, uh, because I too want to uh, shave my head as much as possible. All right, Alexander uh, Cavalcante. I'm utterly convinced that abortion is a bad thing because one, killing the solution to anything. Unborn babies can't defend themselves. Unborn babies have different DNA from the mother and therefore aren't a part of the mother's body. When abortion isn't motivated by rape, it's just an escape from responsibility. Doctors work is to save lives, not to destroy them. And taxpayers' money shouldn't be used to do something that is not only evil, but is also a lot of disapproval by voters. Finally, dead embryonic cells don't multiply. Well, my response to that is... Um, well, I understand uh, what you are saying. Uh, I would like to add that uh, people figured out that stem cells can be extracted from lipids, uh, aka human fat, uh, instead of uh, fetuses. Um, so I don't know why I wanted to add that in there, but I did. Um, all right. Reactive much. What sold Tyrion to me as an ENTP is when he gave three different secrets to Littlefinger, Varys, and Pycelle to find out was given info to Cersei. A cunning ENTP style. That is absolutely right. Correct. Yes. Um, it is known as a canary uh, trap. And uh, we became very good at canary trapping people when we were running, at least when I was running, a spy network within uh, also as a spy network, a.k.a. Polaris, because that's what it was called, in the world of EVE Online. Um, so... Uh, Chase, why do you think some people are so convinced you're an ENTJ? It's because this guy, uh, Eric Strauss, on Talking With Famous People, um, he made a video about me uh, doing his type police, and he's, he's claiming that I'm an ENTJ, right? Uh, it's funny because he thinks he's an ENTP. So within Eric Strauss's paradigm, if, and it's logic, this is logical, if I am an ENTP, and I, uh, that means C.S. Joseph can't be an ENTP because he's obviously different from me. 
So I have to figure out what type he is because he's obviously different from me because he can't be an ENTP because I am an ENTP. Therefore, the only thing I can come up with because he's obviously a T because I use letter dichotomies and he's obviously extroverted, right? And he's obviously like an N, you know, so, but, uh, but I'm an ENTP. So in the way he's doing with all his whiteboard stuff, he's must be a J. So he has to be an ENTJ, right? Because he can't be an ENTP like me. Here's the problem, folks. Eric Strauss is an ESTP. And the sooner he comes to accept that, the sooner he can come to accept that, like, I'm an ENTP. But that's not going to happen because hashtag pride, because TI Parent has this, like, pride problem. I mean, I mean I'll know. I'll admit it, right? I mean, I, I have a pride problem, as I get told consistently. So, um, but, uh, all right, so we have Aubrey. Uh, it takes more than three sentences to type somebody. You guys totally missed the mark on Billy Eilish. I wish all you could have gotten a different perspective on Billy in that interview with the very stupid shallow questions. Uh, okay, obviously, we're really terrible at typing people. Um, so, yeah, one second as I mute myself. All right, unmuted, yes. CSJ is an ENTJ, CSJ is a cuck. Uh, stop denying it. <laughs> nice SE hero there, bro. Like seriously, like, I mean, if I, had a, if, I had a, if I had a nickel for every time an ESTP told me I was a cuck, like I'd be a rich man, like seriously, like come on. Um, anyway. Uh, how old were your kids when you're able to type them? That's a really good question. So Charmaine 684, I actually type my, um, I actually type uh, my son when he was an infant. Like, so like when we first brought my my son home, which kind of really wasn't a home because technically homeless uh, at the time. Uh, yes, uh, homeless uh, when my son was born. Um, yeah, I was I was an idiot in those days. Like. My son was born in homelessness. That was, like, really dumb of me. And, uh, yeah, like, no wonder, like, my wife at the time, like, had no respect for me because I was, like, a total loser and still, like, addicted to World of Warcraft in those days. It was I, – I was a pathetic human being, let's be honest. Uh, but anyway, so uh, when my son uh, was born, freshly born, he did not want – yeah, he had no desire to, like, sleep in our bed. Like, at all. Like, at all. He, he No. Leave me alone. No, 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 no. And so we put him in his own crib, and he was fine. He just wanted to sleep in his own crib. He wanted to be left alone at all times. So, like, okay, yeah, he's, he's responding. So I knew that he was responding. He wanted to be by himself. It was pretty easy to tell he was an introvert, like, right off the bat, like, on the first day. He was, like, an introvert. Um, and then, uh, and then uh, you know, after a while, uh, we were able to see that he was very movement compared to other uh, babies his age, uh, you know, and because uh, other ones were like very control oriented, but he was very movement. So it's like, OK, so you're introverted in movement. So you're obviously a finisher. So we knew he was one of those uh, one of those types there. And uh, so, yeah, like uh, so it, even like as an infant, we were able to narrow him down to like uh, an interaction style like like that. So it was it was pretty, pretty good. Now, unlike other children, though, as they like became a toddler, you know, like the kids that typically throw the temper tantrums, those are pragmatic children, right? And then like uh, the ones that don't, and the ones that like follow the rules, they're affiliative, right? So you know, my son, um, he never really did a temper tantrum, not once. So he's, he, you know, so he's affiliative, right? He's affiliative. So uh, we figured that out. But anyway, like one one thing led to another, and we we figured out he was an INFJ pretty quick. Although. He did quadra shift a few times uh, and went like ESTP for like a little while. And then because we like moved and he also quadra shifted uh, when, his, when his sister was born from ISTP to INFJ. But he was still within that quadra of STP and FJ, basically. So, uh, yeah, I, you're right. CSJ is a cuck. Uh, I definitely can't handle it because I will not admit I'm an ENTJ because I'm not an ENTJ. So... It's all good, you know, like, yeah. Um, 
And uh, I think I first manage tested my ESTP Super Ego when I was six because throughout uh, school I got into heaps of fights, super deprived, but only in the moment. I mean, yeah, maybe if uh, it, if your pride is on the line. So I would love to be able to type Dr. Annette uh, Bosworth on YouTube. I adore her, but I cannot tell what she is. Maybe INFJ. She's an internal medicine physician, so very abstract. I've seen old lectures of her. Fair enough. Aubrey, thank you. No, Taiwan is ours. He's definitely an ENTJ. No, he's too control for that. Sorry, he's an e he's a, he's not an INTJ. Okay, you guys not always listen before jumping to conclusions. For example, on Sad Guru, when he's saying about gender, he was setting up a comparison of how most people look at an age. So you have gender, but when you say Namaste, you're not noticing something deeper that's on the surface. You interpret it as saying it's completely wrong and why you got triggered. Okay, fair enough. Um, uh, impressionable. Okay. Vice part is so true about me and school. And I'm going to say the typical response of uh, dope. Um, and then uh, Naboisa na uh, Georgievic. Uh, I'm an INTP. Dope. Uh, my best friend is an INTP. Among all the people I met, the most amazing ones, they always turn out to be INTPs, fractional character like. Usually INTPs have a crush on ESFJ. I think they have a lot of fun together. Don't know. Uh, yeah. Um, bro. All I can say is like, try your best to, uh, I'm not, all right, I'll finally answer the question as to why I will not debate talking with famous people. The reason why I will not debate talking with famous people is because I think, okay, oh yeah, hold on. Because your entire system is built on the foundation of other people's knowledge, hence your primary TE user. No, that's not necessarily true. I mean, Bruce Lee did that too. Are you are you going to tell me that that Bruce Lee is a TE user? Because Bruce Lee, for example, he studied so many different styles of martial arts, and he created Yeet Kune Do, JKD, Jeet Kune Do, however you say it, um, which is the art of the intercepting fist, a form of Kung Fu, and uh, it's an it's amazing martial arts style. Well, this martial arts style specifically uh, is made up of all these different sources, all these different styles put together in one, and that's expert intuition, to be able to take pieces of information and put it together in all these different places, right? So you're telling me he's a T user just on that? No, like, no, I'm, I'm following the same method uh, as Bruce Lee, who's in the SFJ NTP quadra, just like me, right? So we have the same cognitive functions, you know, potentially in different order, unless he's actually the NTP, like I maintain he is. But the point is, like, no, that's not how TE works. Like, that's not how TE works at all. So I don't understand why, like, that, that is, like, built on the foundation of other people's knowledge. That's why you're a primary TE user. No, I, I disagree. Now, why will I refuse to uh, debate with talking to famous people? The reason why, the reason why is, is because I maintain it would be an absolute waste of time. That's why. So I don't do it. Sorry. Um, bro, all I can say is like, try your best to verify your type and theirs. All right. Okay. TI users can't process anything without a T user. Well, not necessarily. Like, they can process some things based on their perception because they're able to use their perception function to gather information, and then they can process from there. But having a TE user to package things up for them makes it a lot easier. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, so... Leslie says, I mean, we are who we think we are. The way people see us are the only other perspective, not your only true self is only yourself really know yourself. So CSJ is probably an ENTP. I don't necessarily agree with that, Leslie, actually. Um, but but I appreciate your point regardless. Um, Taekwondoista, you are awesome in the comment about people drugging intuitives because they doubt match up in sensory society spot on. Fair enough. Um and then Aubrey's like, well, you may think you are using a long con on an INTJ, but I promise that we are holding back, that we know at least that's what we've always been. I see through manipulated the heart on a daily basis. You guys are so funny. You're obviously manipulated, but I find it amusing, quite entertaining. It's so cute. Um, okay. Uh, I have to respond to this comment and say, um, yes, I am very cute, and I know it. Cannot stop the cute. Be because... Um, um, hashtag the dopest is the cutest. Ha! <laughs> yeah, sorry, had to. Um, okay. Gamtaro. I love Gamtaro when he posts. Okay, hold on. 
What are the pros and cons of an INFP and INTJ relationship? Uh, they have super high sexual compatibility, very low emotional compatibility, but can still work through communication. Taylor, it would get you views and attention. That's not a waste of time. You're a YouTube content creator. No, no, I actually do think it'd be a waste of time because there are other people I would rather collaborate with. And uh, honestly, I, I don't, like, let's look at it this way, Taylor. Um, there's an old adage. Um, uh, when you wrestle with a pig, a pig, all you do is get dirty and the pig enjoys it. And I'm not interested in wrestling with a pig right now. Here's here's another way of looking at it. Never throw your pearls before, si before swine, okay? Or, or let's look at it this way. Uh, uh, um do not argue with a fool lest you become one, right? So yeah, I'm not I'm not going to debate talking with famous people. Like hashtag waste of time. Like seriously, it's a waste of time. No thank you. Like I'd rather I'd rather debate with like Bryant Chambers. That that's the one I'd like to debate. Or or Frank James because Frank James is actually a really cool person. I think he's amazing. I think I think Frank James is dope. Like I like the guy. While I disagree with him on like almost everything he says, but it doesn't matter. I still like the guy. I'd actually like to be his friend. You know. So and. And we all know that I, I disagree with, like, Love Lou and whatnot, but she's definitely not been a waste of time because she's actually a really cool person and really fun and to hang out with, you know. And it was really cool to see her friend Katie being triggered over and over and over again when I did that uh, that video with them. That was, like, really fun. And to, like, watch her, like, survey everything around her, all SE hero-like, and, like, Lou Ann's not even doing that because she's, like, an ENFJ. You know what I'm saying? So... Someone called me BS Joseph on Love Loose channel. That's awesome. That's actually really, uh, that's actually like a, a, a really good uh, uh, name. Um, uh, the alternative to debating, he isn't Chambers at the moment. It's nothing. Well, Chambers is a cool dude. Like, Brian Chambers is awesome. Like, he is dope. That guy, I could, like, be some serious friends with that guy. And his beard is awesome. It's like, come on. He's got an awesome beard. Um, uh, about letting go of worry about my T and FE insecurities. Uh, honestly, Nathan Miller just do things you've never done. Um, and Fatewind, I got to give a shout a shout out to Fatewind. Fatewind is one of the very few or first people to ever comment on my YouTube channel, and is still coming back to us to this day over a year later. You are awesome, Fatewind. You are like literally one of my favorite people uh, on this channel. So thank you for keep coming back. Um, uh, yeah. Debating, wanting to debating with him has nothing to do with baiting he or he. I don't get it. CS Java with fake news. Love it. Um, wow. I managed to get on the CS Joseph live stream. I mean, if Jab wants to come back, like, I'm actually in the Discord channel, so he, in the live stream channel, so he could, like, show up and just start talking if you guys want, you know, I, who knows, but he might be busy. I don't really know who Michael Pierce is that much. Like, I've never actually seen one of his videos, like, one time. Like, I've never seen it, so, yeah, just so you guys know. Gamtaro, how many times I watch this, I always end up knowing where I fall under between these two. I avoid bossing people around, but I also fail at reading subtext. It takes me a year to figure out someone is displaying interest in me or flirting. Yeah, I can get that. Um, uh, could be due to lack of SE or lack of FE uh, or lack of NE or a combination of two of those. Did somebody say they want to see his Java back? See his Java! Oh! <laughs> Dab! How you doing, man? Glad to have you back. All right. <laughs> what, have you been, what have you been smoking? I, I, uh, that's, a, that's actually a good question. Um, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I, I will, uh, I will tell you what I've been smoking because, you know, I, that's what I like to do on YouTube. I like to take a bong hit, you know, because, like, <laughs> I, I'm an ESTP, you know what I'm saying, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, Here's here here's 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 what I've been smoking. This is what I've been smoking. Oh. Oh god, you're actually oh. showing what you're smoking. <laughs> no, no, I actually was raising a book. Um uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh. Yeah. What's up, ego hackers? LOL, I like that. Like this this person Aubrey like totally hates me right now. LOL, I like that. I know my TI critic comes out sometimes on YouTube, but I just want to say that even I haven't shared it enough. I really do appreciate all the work you put in these videos. Okay, so Aubrey has been, like, seriously trashing us this entire time, Jab, with these YouTube comments. She's been, like, yeah. seriously trashing us. And then she literally just says, like, I just want to say that even though I haven't shared it enough, I really do appreciate all the work you put into these videos. And I'm just, like, thinking to myself, wait a minute. You've been telling us that we're idiots this whole time, but you appreciate the videos. 
Okay, cool. Fair enough. I'm going to uh, like it. So, um, uh, how does social science TJ? <laughs> Much appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> I, I yeah. don't have a cam. Uh, every time uh, we get donations, uh, it goes towards building more coin slots. Yeah, so never not coin slot it. Okay, okay. So here's one. The, the, the Sally Manuel... Or Emmanuel, yeah, Manu Ma Manuel. She says, "My friend watches you as if she's part of a religious cult." Stop ruining Game of Thrones for me. I have enough <laughs> things to contemplate. I have enough uh, things to contemplate without MBTI in the mix. <laughs> That's good. Oh, I gotta type it. Love it. Thank you for <laughs> being. <laughs> Love it. Uh, don't worry, we will uh, ruin other shows too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what are we ruining next? Yeah. I mean, everyone watches um, Game of Thrones. What else does everyone watch? Uh, just because you're a mastermind doesn't mean that their mind cannot be mastered. C.S. Joseph. Yeah, that's right. I said that. Oh, I forgot about that quote. Oh, Jab. That needs to go on Instagram. Can you make that post? Like, that's dope. Uh, here, let me yeah, get it to you sure. right here. Can you, like, yeah, copy yeah. and paste Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I copy and paste it. Yeah, we're good. Um, regarding a short con on INTJ, I don't think it's possible with me, at least. Uh, you mentioned getting an impulsive decision. Oh, Aubrey's at it again. The manipulation just so happens to be going at the same time. Yeah, I'm going to like that. It's also true about being procrastinators. That sounds actually right. I adore, I, I adore INFPs, though. I think they're kind of cute. Um, they are legit uh, the cutest. Uh, except, uh, except I am technically, uh, cuter. I know this because when I sit, uh, when I sit down and the Ooh. cat sits on me, I gain extra cuteness points. So, wow. yeah, yeah. Um, Uncle Shadarico, hola, senor, como esta usted? Uh, okay, de donde eres? No, um... Uh, new to your cults, can I be an appointed apostle of yours? Bro, I am not that cool uh, to have an <laughs> apostle. Nope, I am not that cool. Someone after me who is much cooler than I, uh, well, uh, you could be their apostle, but uh, not not me. I, I don't need apostles right now. Uh, I, need, I need people to help. That would be nice. Um, uh, oh, Aaron Rule says, I am cuter than you. Sorry, Chase, LOL. Well, fair enough. I just kind of lost that. Hey, CSJ, that would be really cool to do an anime typing session. Uh, I mean, we've kind of done that a little bit. Uh, I mean, uh, Yagami Light is definitely an INTJ. Um, who are we sacrificing first in this cult? Every sacred cow ever. That's exactly who we're sacrificing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if we sacrifice all the cows, then where are we going to get hamburgers from? <laughs> oh, man. That's a good question. So I developed my SE. That is cute. Yes, it is. Uh, okay. All right. Feel you. I use my Tinder account to be a CSJ disciple. Wow, that's actually funny. That's actually <laughs> all right. You got to add that one too, Jab. Uh, you got you got to quote Aaron on that one. I use my Tinder account to be a CSJ's disciple. That's definitely going on the Instagram. Add that one too. Y yeah. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay. Um, all right. I dated an INTJ, and he was such a hypocrite. Uh, he'd always make me jump through hoops to cite sources when I do the same, and he would just nervously laugh and not do it. Gaslighted me a lot, too. Glad I dumped him. Also, he never told me about what his past. I found it very untrustworthy. This is Taekwondoista. Whoa, 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 So let me get this straight. There's an INTJ who, you know, is super source orientated, but then wouldn't have his own sources for his own points. That yeah. sounds like a pr pretty screwed up INTJ. If if that was actually really an INTJ, so to which I respond is, are you sure they were actually an INTJ? Like, I mean, I gotta ask the question. Okay, so check this out. This is Aubrey again. After telling, after thanking us for, for doing videos, she goes again and she says, Okay, first of all, an ENTP lecturing an INTJ about procrastination is hilarious. You guys are the worst <laughs> at it. LOL, OMG, you guys procrastinate and avoid your work like the plague. And then you are finally forced to do some work. You guys love the pile work on people. And then you try to take the credit for it. But everyone sees right through you doing that, you know? But regarding the work style, yeah. 
You are right. I do prefer my tasks to be spread out in smaller chunks. I can get analysis paralysis if I get too much piled on at one point in time, but I have learned to deal with it by just breaking up and simmer things. And mm-hmm. uh, not my problem. The way I see it, lack of planning on the part does not justify emergency on my part. Um, true that, but I still like uh, setting people up for failure if they deserve it. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And then uh, INTJs are the biggest con artists ever. It's scary. They're totally, like, almost psychopathic, okay? Uh, they have no sense of remorse or any feeling of, like, this is wrong. Okay, that's actually crap. That's crap. They do. You don't say that about INTJs. They're actually very moral people. They lack ethics, but they're very moral. So, and they don't understand it. Okay, okay, Aubrey's really back again. I'm really what, immoral what? for a laugh. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. When I go, like, subconscious mode and it's like, I stop caring about my... We, we need to see a Chase and Aubrey live debate. Okay. We could do that. That'd be fun. Um, we'll do and that. And if she brings it home. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. See, guys, I'd rather <laughs> debate... I'd rather debate Aubrey on a Zoom live stream than talking with famous people. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the thing is, if you if you debated uh, t- uh, talking with famous people, this is literally what the stream would be like. Oh, uh, yeah, Chase, I think you're an ENTP. Hold on one second, bong rip. Yeah, yeah, Chase, <laughs> you're an ENTP. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're not an ENTP, you're an ENTJ. Hold on one second, one more bong rip. I mean, that would be the whole stream, just bong rips and, like, you're an ENTJ, bong rip, like, and then as he's about to, you know, try and bring out some TI to explain why you're an ENTJ, <laughs> then I'll take another bong rip. <sighs> yeah, that's that's awesome. Uh, uh, Rami Fakrai, uh, I, I, I'd be okay interviewing Dario Nardi. Um, I don't think he'd care, though, but, uh, yeah, or, or, it's fine. Or as I like to call him, Dario Naharis. Ah! Uh, uh! <laughs> the way you speak to someone wholeheartedly disagree. Um, is it willing to say it? Yeah. You are smarter than this, Mr. Joseph. I challenge you to rethink your philosophy. Okay. Um, okay. The audience on my... Okay, here we go. The audience on my last live stream asked me to debate you live. Uh, so let's do it. It would be fun. Email me at chase at cs joseph dot life if you want to have some fun. (laughs) You could tell anyone on the stream just how bad we are for kicks. Uh, why not? Who are the type, please? I don't know who they are. Um, Chase, the ENTJ, and known cuck is scared to debate. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see the rest of that. It's too bad. It just disappeared from me. I'm an INFJ ex-banker, and I actually master at spreadsheets, but that's because I forced myself to learn and salt it for my own creative endeavors, and I found my path, and now, and now helping bankers to be better people. No, hey, why aren't I'm you not, driving? I'm not letting you take credit for your skill in spreadsheets. The reason why you're so skilled in spreadsheets is because I made all these amazing spreadsheets which you had to learn to utilize. Yeah, that's true. That, that that would be great. <laughs> Remember my Eve spreadsheets? Like the, the finance yeah. spreadsheets? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I literally made finance, like professional finance spreadsheets for an online uh, guild so that yep. we could manage our money properly. Yep. In fact, um, I was probably the best finance person in that game. Oh, that was great. That was really great. I didn't have Car Studio then. Yeah, that's kind of... A, uh, it's kind of a punk move to delete those comments. Which comments did I delete? Um, uh, oh, he didn't delete any comments, but if I'm seeing someone called Type Police come in and just say, cuck, 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 ENTJ, cuck, 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 I'm going to, like, delete them from the channel. <sighs> Like, if your entire argument is cuck ENTJ, like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. 
All right, all right. Okay, so Elena Kusevka. Actually, academic and intellectual are so highly related. They are basically synonyms because I'm a TE user and because things are related, they, they obviously are true. And you have to be actively engaged in some kind of intellectual work to be an intellectual. No, you don't. Uh, you could be an intellectual without being an academic. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Um, uh, also, yes, I agree with you. Uh, one can be an intellectual without being an academic. That is entirely my point. Uh, I've seen negative comments deleted from your channel. Yeah, but if those comments are like overly disrespectful, like of course I'm gonna delete them. Like if there's actually, if they're useful, you know, to the discussion, you know, sure. And if they're not useful, then why have them? You know what I'm saying? Drop the INTP, INFP vid. Thanks for all your work, it helps a lot. It's coming, I promise. It's coming. Uh, Is that okay. a drop the base? It's drop the INTP ENFP video. Okay, Aubrey's back. Aubrey's back. Whoa, that's wild about using physical objects to help with memory. I definitely use that as a technique. I'm an INTJ as part of my system of automation, GTD. I keep a binder handy on my desk when I organize my post it notes by category on pages inside plastic sleeves to protect them. I didn't realize that that was related to SE. Makes sense. Yay. Taekwondoista. Absolutely love your work. Uh, I noted on your social engineering videos to not use it for evil. I would never do that. Okay, yes, you're very, uh, you're a big advocate of fathers involved in their children's lives. We see that you're committed to the one, especially to your INFJ. I want to know if you have a whole lot of women out there who, that prevent fathers from seeing their children through parental alienation because of their own narcissistic tendencies, that they use their children as leverage and bait. All right, folks. Um, please watch Toxic uh, Masculinity on NOLA Girl 504's YouTube channel. It is the dopest, is how I would do that. Jabba dabba do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, quacking. Um, yeah, Aubrey. <laughs> oh, B attack. How can an ENTJ get out of an NIFI loop and back into their TENI mojo? Thanks. Um, by not being afraid of being a bad person. Mm. Love the hashtag pony up. Tyrion, Arya, Jon Snow, and Lysa is really struggling with Cersei, being an ESTJ, maybe quite as typing as thought, just pretty crap is dead. Uh, keep at it, bro. Um, INTP feels right. Um, then go for it. The impression caught me off so off guard. I snorted laughing. LOL, Leroy Gordon. When you say most aesthetically pleasing, is that why people seem to love us? I never understand why the people I love and care about put up with my crazy shit I pull. Okay, thank you. Sherry Johnson. I love Sherry Johnson posts. Uh, I have more questions than I have time to watch videos. I've watched the direct informative lecture. I don't remember what I said about this. I've sent certain parents. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, he's, he's not usually abstract. Okay, okay. How abstract a person would be. Um, okay, that's TE questions. Um, took one of the tests, it's huge, this is TE, this is TE, this is all TE. I know the behind the scenes types. Um, uh, okay, they are abstract if they talk, oops, if they talk about what if more than the what is. Yeah, there we go. Um, pick up show, mm -hmm. awesome. All right. I think that's enough comments tonight. I, I, I think, quite, I think, yeah, what's up? We've got quite a lot of people watching tonight, you know? If every person in this stream, you know, sent this, uh, Chase's channel to, like, a bunch of people and subscribed, you know, we could hit, is it 17 or 16,000? 17,000, 17, yeah. Are we, we could are hit 17,000 subscribers right now. Like, seriously, if there's anyone watching this video who hasn't subscribed, like, get your subscribe on. Yeah, please subscribe to the channel. We want to break 17,000. 17, yeah, let's hit 17,000 right now so I can, like, do a silly reaction and be like, Ooh, 17,000! Wow, haven, glaven. <laughs> wow! 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 <laughs> okay, I'm an INTP. My wife, ESFJ, have been married for 21 years. All good, but challenges of plenty, arguments, legion. But today, we're both well-developed characters. My daughter's an INFP. We fight a lot. My boy's an ENTP. We get along great. Love your videos. You are an expert. Um... 
Thank you for saying that I am an expert. That is very contrary to popular belief. You know, everywhere where the light touches is your kingdom, Simba. What's that shadow we place over there? That's talking with famous people. Uh, All right. So I wouldn't FYI, give them that much credit. Just notice that the INTJ INFJ comparison video has not been added. Will we fix that? Uh, take the loot. I'm afraid you failed to address something. This is Kevin Chen. That judging and perceiving under the MBTI means planned, orderly versus flexible and spontaneous. And in my experience, J and P types do follow judging perceiving skill, how to orient to our world with the auxiliary function. So, uh, yeah, he's, he made a good point. Good point. I will give him that. I did not mention that. Um, Jeff, I love the South Park voices. Have I done a South Park voice? Well, we won't stop. Huh? Have I done a South Park voice? I thought Hyven Gliven was Frank from Simpsons. Yes. That's not South Park. Yes, they are uh compatible in some ways but not a relationship i would recommend okay i wouldn't recommend it somebody said yeah. they love my south park voices but i thought i only did a simpsons voice the the nerd frank maybe it's in the past maybe heather hawkins is actually like uh, uh, you know, uh, uh yeah maybe uh, okay, i mean it's, i i, I can't do south park voices yeah <laughs> i can do i can't maybe that god damn it Ah, sweet. <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm going home. Yeah, yeah. Hey, All right. Every it, kitty, it's a bad kitty. Sorry. Yeah. So, Nola girl, N O L L A. That's what I mean by Nola girl. All right, folks. I actually have to go because I have to like eat food and stuff. Um, so. Thank you for uh, being present for me going through uh, my comments tonight. I just decided to randomly do it because I was so triggered by what I read. So I just wanted to share it with you. I wanted to share in the triggering. So who triggered CSJ episode one? <laughs> Random yeah. new playlist season. Who triggered CSJ? Yeah. <laughs> who, who triggered CSJ? I think it was who, that who Ian triggered? Ian live stream that we typed. Uh, Casey, Casey like, he tried to do so hard. He I was so, so hard. triggered. I was so triggered, dude. Like I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, cool. Uh, we'll do this again sometimes, folks. Uh, it's fun going through a lot of comments. We we love the community here, and uh, you know maybe we'll have some uh, some actual guests from the community show up on our. Uh, uh, we'll stream on Zoom sometimes just for the kicks. You know what I'm saying? Um, Maybe we convince Aubrey because of how triggered she is. And who triggered right. CSJ? Obviously, tonight, folks, it was Aubrey. Uh, so uh, Aubrey uh, definitely mm. triggered CSJ tonight. And uh, maybe uh, maybe we'll, we'll we'll have some more triggering later. So, um, but yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's yeah. If it okay. gets ready, you want to take your shirt off? That'd be just fine. <laughs> popsicles i got a whole freezer full of popsicles down yeah in the basement. yeah i I, ha I have to eat food and stuff so I'll, i have to like eat food so i'll talk come to you on herbert, herbert's trying to give you popsicles chase come on go down in the basement he's got yeah. playstation down there as well playstation and popsicles never not like like never not do it like like yeah okay <laughs> all right i might Which be back tomorrow to like randomly like do this so yeah, yeah, weren't you supposed to eat food like an hour ago, Chase? Like, what's going on? Yes, I was, I was, but I, I, I just got so triggered by reading these, I just had to say something. So, yes, fair enough. Maybe the triggering will continue, but anyway. All right, mm -hmm. folks, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go eat and and uh, pretend to be Siler uh, for the rest of the evening. So I'll see you guys uh, later. Yeah, have a good night. All right. Good night, ladies and gents, or good day if you're Australian.